Hi you guys, so the reactions here and today I'm going to react to some more Merlin. This is season 3 episode 10. So, let's get into it. Oh, did I miss something? Is Uther already dead? I pronounce you Guinevere, Queen of Camelot. I was about to say she's a beautiful queen. It's my servant girl, Gwen. She sits beside Arthur on a throne. Servant girl. She's crowned queen. I say the same thing night after night. You cannot allow this serving girl to take your rightful place upon the throne. Whatever relationship exists between Arthur and Gwen, you must destroy it. I know how you feel about Arthur and how he feels about you. Do you deny it? It's such a shame you can't be more open about your feelings for each other. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Arthur, are you listening? What's that? Jeez. What on earth is wrong with you? <clears throat> Nothing. Sorry. You should spend some time with Gwen. I know she'd like that. Uh, and Organa wants them to be caught. What if someone sees us? I'll take you to meet him outside the city. Arthur's willing to take the risk. Because he has not that much yeah. to lose. <laughs> That's what I would call romantic. It's such a beautiful day. I was wondering if you might join me for a ride. Oh, God. Uh, I have council matters to attend to. It's just I get to spend so little time with you these days. You are not here as a servant. It's such a bitch move. It feels different, doesn't it? Being away from Camelot. I love Camelot more than I can say. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. <gasps> Oh my god, I didn't expect him to... Oh my god. <laughs> I was young once. I'm more than familiar with the temptations of serving girls. I'm sorry I kept it from you. I thought it was the best. No serious mm. harm has been done. I can't allow it to continue, obviously. Obviously, yeah. What are you talking about? That's you could never problem. see this girl again. Oh, okay. You just said that no harm had been done. You've had your fun, now it must come to an end. I love Guinevere. You leave me no choice, she's banished from the city. Oh. How did Uther know where to find you? I don't know, you were the only person who knew where we were. I didn't tell him. Oh, maybe something you said gave it away. I didn't say anything. You know Merlin, you couldn't keep a secret. If your life depended on it, you'd be surprised. Oh my god, oh my god. Where will you go? Yeah, does she even know what's outside of Camelot? I don't know. Has she ever been outside of Camelot? I spent my whole life in Camelot. Okay. That's all I know. Yeah, okay. I do not understand his feelings for this girl. She's because you don't, you, you have no idea what love actually is. I guess so. It's strange that... How could you understand? What? Arthur tells me everything and he's... never expressed any feelings for Gwen and... suddenly he's declaring his love for her. What are you saying, Morgan? Like magic or... <laughs> Uther is like, yeah, ah, why? Haven't I thought about it? That's the only explanation. What's that? Is it magical? I believe so. These are the symbols of the old religion. And now she's arrested. Like, what is it? <sighs> I just saw some guards dragging Gwen into the palace. We've done this before. Why else would Arthur fall in love with someone like you? I don't expect someone like you to understand that. Ooh. <gasps> oh my. my lord. 
God. But has always been a loyal and trusted servant. Shut the fuck no up. Doubt she's feigned loyalty while using her position to get close to my son. It's a good thing yes. Arthur didn't see that. Holtis was found under your pillow. Her father consorted with sorcerers. My father was a good and innocent man, and you executed him. So you would seek your revenge by enchanting my son? No. She will be burnt at the stake. No. Restrain him. You can't do this! My lord, at least give Gwen a fair trial. We will leave Camelot and never return. Just, just, just let us go. Sure. I relinquish my entitlement to the throne. Since when are there fair trials? My son would never do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. At least now she knows, I guess. I mean, <laughs> that was pretty obvious. I mean, break her free wouldn't be the first time that a prisoner is set free, but I really feel like uh, I've already seen this episode. <laughs> I look back, I swear, Morgana was smiling. You probably think I'm mad. No, I, I don't doubt what you see. I can no longer trust her. Morgana? Uther will yeah. never believe yeah. that Morgana is responsible. Perhaps Arthur will talk him around. Uther thinks Arthur's enchanted. Anything that Arthur does is going to strengthen that belief. If we can't expose the true sorcerer, then we must invent one. What, what if a sorcerer was caught planting an identical poultice in Arthur's chambers? Uther would have no choice but to release Gwen. And do you know of a sorcerer who's stupid enough to get caught doing such a thing? Me. Myself. It ah, won't matter if I'm glamouring. Use magic to escape, and then just change back into myself. An aging spell, no. Aging spells are notoriously difficult and unpredictable. If the spell are we getting an old Merlin? If I don't do something, Gwen's going to die, and I am not going to let that happen. Do you recognize me? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> but only something because I know that it eyes. that it's him. I am. Dragoon! The Great! Is it you planted the poultice in my bed? You have caught me red-handed. I have no choice but to confess. <laughs> An innocent girl almost died because of your actions. Have we met? Yeah, but what now? He... Is the sorcerer. I found him placing this under my pillow. Yes. What did you hope to achieve with this enchantment? If Arthur were to fall in love with the lowly serving girl, it would bring shame on Camelot. And you, oh, I have heard how you mistreat your servants. They do everything for you, but do they ever get any thanks? No. You're a spoiled, arrogant brat with the brains of a donkey and the face. <coughs> Release the girl. Tomorrow at dawn, you will take her place on the pyre. But what take does Arthur think now? Now he must be like, oh, okay, I love Gwen, but apparently my feelings are true because that sorcerer put a spell on me. It must be very confusing for him. Yep, now it's yours. Have you seen Merlin? I can't find him anywhere. I, I think he said he was going to spend the day in the tavern. Oh, did he? Well, we'll see about that. Why the hell would you say that? He's grabbing herbs or something, but ugh, can he use magic at all? Break free. Escape, leave Camelot, and then wait in the forest for him to get ready. Other crimes I wish to confess. What difference does it make? You're about to be burned at the stake. We can't execute you twice. <laughs> Just drink it, damn it. Hurry up. <laughs> You went that way. It was, it was, it was, it 
too fast for me. He's a doddery old man. This is what happens when you spend all day in the tavern. What? <laughs> Perhaps mucking up my horses helps sober you up. <laughs> I can't tell you how relieved I am that you've been pardoned. I think it would be safer for you if we let others continue to believe it. What you said to your father. Would you really have given up your place on the throne for me? Still would. You would be a great king. And then you can change these ridiculous customs. I can't wait for it. I will count the days until then. Me too. That was Merlin, season 3, episode 10, titled Queen of Hearts. I mean, it was... It was a little bit about Gwen, but... I think just like the first half of the season was about Gwen and Arthur and the second part was about Merlin old Merlin so the title is a little bit I don't know off-putting I don't know not that fitting I think but okay I thought we finally get to see a little bit more of Arthur and uh, Gwen but of course Morgana had to fuck it up it was so cute them going on a picnic together or like that but we didn't go anywhere like we're uh back at square one i guess but i have to say arthur yeah like i said i would be like mm, okay i love her but apparently my feelings aren't true because i just caught a sorcerer who tried to enchant me but apparently his feelings are so strong and he's so I don't know, self-aware maybe, but he actually thinks or believes that his feelings are true, which they are, but he believes that, and that's, that's nice. But it was awesome to see uh, old Merlin, that they actually had to include an old version of him in, uh, in the show. I like that a lot. <laughs> Looked a little bit scary, like prosthetics always look scary to me. In a way, maybe just because I'm not used to... Because I was able to recognize him. He still looked like himself. But so different and... Yeah. That was... <laughs> that was something. But I, I think they did a, 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 yeah, a great job. And I'm glad like um, Gwen now knows that Morgana... Not only that she can use magic, but also that she's kind of evil. That she tr I don't, yeah, I don't know if she's like, uh, yeah, she set me up and I almost got killed because of her or that she's just like, okay, she smiled because I was about to get executed and that's fucked up. I don't know if she uh, knows that it was actually Morgana, but she will, I think. <laughs> she, she will ev uh, eventually, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, goodbye, guys.